Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Hitchcock. It's a biography picture about the master of suspense himself, Alfred Hitchcock. It stars Anthony Hopkins, Helen Mirra, Scarlett Johansson, Tony Collette, Danny Houston, Jessica Biel, James Darcy, Kurt Ward Smith, and Michael Wincott. The movie begins in 1959. The Master of Suspense director Alfred Hitchcock just opened his latest film, North by Northwest, with Cary Grant. And considered to his success, uh, the reporters have announced that, that it was time for him to retire. But he wanted to create yet another success movie that would change his reputation as a director. He wanted to do a horror film that was based on a novel called Psycho. But his wife, Elma, on the other hand, isn't enthusiastic about the idea of him making this movie. So especially since she's already been um, lobbied by a writer friend by the name of Woodfield Cook to look over on his his own screenplay that he's creating. Um, but however, she does warm to Alfred's proposal suggesting the plot of, of killing the female lead in the film um, earlier. So unfortunately, the studio Paramount Pictures was having some more difficult problems on suggesting the idea, which forces him to finance the film personally and use his television crew to produce the film of course leading to even bigger problems but once Alfred was casting all the cast members including the female lead Janet Lee which annoys his wife Alma beyond her commands and since then you know Alma was once again is doing a personal writing collaboration with Whitfield to write a screenplay at a beach house without Alfred's knowledge after the film cycle was completed they decided to do a rough cut in the film, which was being poorly received by the studio executives, which he was having problems with. But when they finally screened the film for the first time, it became very well known and very well received by everybody. But with the help of his wife, that it became a big success, not only for their love affair, but would help make this movie work with style. I love the look of this movie. It does have that the, the late 50s, early 60s feel of what the studio really looked like and how everything turned out at the time when this actually happened. I had to say though, I didn't like the fact that they added the book writer in this movie, you know, as Elma's personal friend. To me, I thought that was unnecessary. I didn't think his character didn't do any justice to it. I didn't think it didn't work for me, but I understand that. Also, I had some problems with the studio executives in this, but I figured that's what happened at the time. Yeah, which makes sense, because I know they were complete assholes in the film. And the relationship between Hitchcock and his wife was going overboard, downhill from there, until they finally fixed the problem, and it was solved, so they finally made love. I also love the casting of this film. I thought Anthony Hopkins did a very good job and he was very brilliant as Alfred Hitchcock. He looks exactly like him, like uh, no other. I mean, there would have been a lot of actors that would play that role, but I thought he did a very good job. And he was definitely brilliant and perfect in, in this film. That goes the same with Helen Murr as Hitchcock's wife, um, Alma. Also, the cast was also great too, with Cutworth Smith, Scarlett Johansson as Janet Leigh, and Jessica Biel as Vera Miles. She was good in this. It's a very good film. I definitely think you should check this film out, um, especially if you're a big fan of Alfred Hitchcock and his work. But just to keep this in mind, yes, this movie does have plenty of flaws in the film, but otherwise, it's a treat. So anyway, I give Hitchcock three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. And I'll see you later. Bye.